Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast of brief messages to help humanity bridge the gap to the new earth. My name is Vivian Gerard. It is my delight to be a scribe for consciousness today, sharing the wisdom that flows through from source. Here we go. So 99, it is Tuesday today. Still gray, still rainy, <laughs> a little chilly here in Cincinnati. And yeah, we arrive at this number, this threshold. I realized a couple weeks ago, I'm like, oh, we're almost at 100. Like, what? what's 100 going to be about? And then yesterday and this morning, I'm like, what's 99 episode going to be about? And um what does it all mean? What does it all mean? My husband and I have had some really interesting conversations over the last couple of weeks about just marketing in general and statistics and numbers. And for a while, I thought I would call this episode statistics. And what has become more clear for me um, is instead the title credibility. Credibility. So I'm going to read uh, the lyrics from a song to sort of put us in this conversation. I know it's a one-sided conversation, but you can comment and you can send me your reflections and then it becomes two-way conversation. But in this moment, um, I'll read the lyrics and, and then we'll just see where it goes. So the song is Submarines. It's by the Lumineers. It's apparently connected to a story, whether it's true or not, that there was a man who saw submarines in Pearl Harbor, Japanese submarines, um, before the bombing happened, before Pearl Harbor started the entry for the U.S. into World War II. And there's so many meanings for songs. There's the meaning that the person who creates it and writes it sends out into the world as they write it, as they sing it, there's the meaning for every single person who interprets it through their filter and hears the lyrics through their own understanding about life. So I'm going to read the lyrics and then I'll share a little bit of my interpretation. Submarines by the Lumineers. And if you haven't listened to the song, listen to it when we're done with this podcast because it's so good. I believe submarines underneath deep blue seas saw the flags, Japanese, no one will believe me. Ran back to the town bar and I told the people how I had seen the submarine and everyone laughed aloud. I did spy periscopes, dead of night on the eastern coast. The police made them jokes, told me I'd seen a ghost. Everyone thinks I'm a liar, no one knows the truth. If it was a bigger fire, I would be on the roof. Ships will rust in Baldwin Bay, let me go. No one trusts what I say. I don't know. Oh my God, no one paid attention. Overnight, my hair turned gray. In the end, it boils down to credibility. I had none, so I will die with the secrets of the sea. Such a great song. I also find it so interesting that Pearl Harbor, December 7th, is this weekend, which is on a new moon in Sagittarius. So it feels like there is some more continual releasing of all of the pain that was created and the ripples that happened in history from that one day. So it's interesting that this song came up for me uh, right at this moment. Okay, so credibility. Credibility. Well, statistics often define credibility, and in marketing, which is where I spent quite a bit of my career, statistics are everything. How many people are reading your emails? How many people are opening um, the emails that you send to them? How many are clicking on the links? How many people are liking your social media posts? It's all about numbers because the theory is that numbers drive dollars, and if you are focused on dollars, the numbers are are directly reflecting your success. And so that's how marketing has 
evolved the way I have seen it and understood it. It's based on, on outcome, which is measured through numbers. <sighs> Let's all exhale that old model out. <laughs> right? Right. And then the interesting thing about that is, okay, so people buy the things and the dollars are there. What are people actually doing with what they consume or what they purchase? One of the things that drives my husband the craziest is when people get or give gift certificates and then they never spend them. He's like, so the store showed the sales, but no one's ever come in to buy the product. Or people have these gifts of money that are given to them through cards and they never use the cards and so the money is like thrown in the trash. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so wasteful. It's so wasteful. For me, the way that's played out in marketing is people buying the products that we've created in my business and other businesses and then never listening to the audios, never using the meditations, never applying what it is that they've gathered in the courses and, and doing something with it. So statistics are powerful, absolutely, and yet statistics aren't credibility for me. They're not impact in the way that I want to show up in this lifetime, the way that I am showing up in this lifetime. When I listened to the song Submarine, when I first heard it a while ago, I have had the album for quite a bit on my phone, I would get so sad. I was like, oh, if only, if only they had listened to him. What if that story is true and someone had said, what? Let's go check it out. What if all of that the bombing had been avoided. What if we had never entered, U.S. had never entered World War II? What would have happened? How would it have been different? And so there was always this longing inside of me that what if it could have been something else? What if history could have been changed if that one person had had the credibility or more importantly, had stood up so loudly and screamed from the top of the roof that there's a fire <laughs> that people would have all driven down to the coast and gone into the bay and looked for the submarines. What if he had yelled louder? And so there's been this um, sadness when I hear the song, like, oh, if only, if only. In my own journey and my own personal growth as I have worked through the belief that I am responsible for other people's experiences or I am responsible to yell from the top of the houses so that people will hear me and their lives could be better. <laughs> As I have slowly moved through my own letting go of that and arrived at this place of contentment, like everyone's journey is perfect. Everyone's journey is perfect. If I, when I listen to the song now, I know history had to go that way. World War II had to happen. We had to have catastrophe so that humanity would awaken to a different level of awareness, of consciousness, of love, that people would see each other as a global community and support each other, that we would not allow atrocities to continue. The U.S. had to engage in the war. And so perhaps that person, when he saw the submarines, it was his own journey that he was experiencing of how much did he believe in himself? How much did he trust what he saw? How much was he willing to share what he saw and just allow history to unfold from there? So that is how I show up now. It's with this constant surrendering I share what I see, what I feel, what I know, and I allow you, others, everyone, all to have their own experience with it. And sometimes it resonates, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it provides wisdom, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's just a nice, relaxing podcast. And there's nothing, there's nothing you have to do or experience or feel except you just have a nice, relaxing podcast. <laughs> and it's all perfect. It's all perfect because your journey is exactly as it's meant to be right in this moment and mine is and everyone else's is and as we all just keep showing up we're co-creating each new moment together 
Could there be higher pathways that we could co-create as a humanity? Could we solve climate change faster? Could we fly to Jupiter faster? <laughs> could we, <laughs> I don't know, like, could we create amazing inventions faster? Yeah, of course. Of course we could. And also, is that the point? Is the point to have it happen faster? Or is the point that we're all allowed our own individual experience? And we all honor our own individual experience. And then as a humanity, we're co-creating something together. Whatever that happens to look like. It's such an interesting shift for me in letting go of needing to save or needing to yell fire or needing to raise the alarms and simply be in my own journey with such joy and such presence and such gratitude and then just share whatever wants to come through me and be shared. So the conversation that my husband and I have had about numbers, I'll just name them because I think it's fun for me. I like knowing it. When I started my business three years ago, I'd never made a YouTube video before, ever. I didn't know anything about YouTube. And I self-taught, and I learned, and I watched videos, and I made enough terrible, well, not terrible, like so-so ones, that I was like, ugh, <laughs> I definitely don't like that. I'm going to do it this way or this way. And so over time, it got easier. I got better at it. They became more fun. For a while, they were just audios with pictures, and then I started actually videotaping myself and saying things. And so I've, I've built my library of resources on YouTube that I love, that I'm really proud of. And so I was sharing with my husband, I'm like, I'm at 20,000 views. And he, he's excited about the number. He's like, 20,000. I'm like, yeah, but that's not the point. Like, I love that people have been watching it. And also, I'm more proud, I'm prouder that there's such a big library of resources available, that everything that I have on the YouTube channel is so good. Like, I love what has been created. That's what I'm proud of. It's my, um, the quality and the integrity with which I show up and share what I see and what I know and what I feel. That matters more to me than the numbers. The numbers are just fun. They're, they're fun. That's how I see it. On SoundCloud, where I post quite a few of these pod, where I post all these podcasts and I have some older audios, some meditations and other things. Uh, SoundCloud is a completely new platform. I have barely started learning how it works. I don't do any marketing or advertising there. I just put my audios up and then I put some hashtags in and somehow people seem to find it. I have almost 6,000 listens and I'm like, oh my God, that's so exciting. Like people are listening to the podcast and they're enjoying them and they're liking them and they're finding value in them and that's so awesome. And also, I'm going to keep doing it, even if people aren't listening, because the vibration I'm sending out, I believe in. The messages I'm transmitting are valuable for humanity and consciousness, if and when they ever get listened to. I believe in my work enough that it's going to go out regardless. So the numbers are fun. It's like a smile or a game. It's not this heavy metric measurement that is weighing me down. Statistics weigh us down. Credibility excites me. What matters more to me, and <laughs> it's so funny how these podcasts go, because I'm like, oh, we're really, <laughs> we're really going into this. <laughs> Credibility to me is the beautiful reflections that I get from people who are listening. When Tara says she listens to me with a cup of tea in her living room, oh, I love it. I just love it. And Carla, my yoga instructor, reflects back something I shared in a podcast about how it connects to her belief of it also. And my beautiful Angie tells me she's listened to the same podcast a few times in a row because there was something so good in that specific one that served what she was looking at in her life. It's these individual touches by people. Angelica, <laughs> Angelica who listens in her car on the way to work. Are you kidding me? <laughs> My husband, who berates me sometimes, like, there's no podcast. I need a podcast on my way to school. <laughs> I mean, that's the point. It's connection and touching each other in these human journeys with love and with joy and irreverence and fun. That's why I create. It's, 
I believe in myself. I believe in what I see and what I'm sharing. And I'm completely unattached to where it goes and what happens to it. There's this philosophical question that I've pondered and other people bring up. And then we get into these big debates. It's so silly, but it says so much. You know, the question is, if a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound if nobody hears it? And I was thinking about that this morning, going, of course it makes a sound. Like, that tree has an energy that is being transmitted, a vibration that is being transmitted out into its environment. There's a vibration that happens when the tree hits the earth, and that vibration ripples into every other tree around it and into the earth itself, and then that ripple goes all the way out into humanity. It's just we as humans believe because we don't see it or we don't hear it, it's not real or it doesn't exist. And that's simply not true. So credibility is, I believe, first believing in yourself, knowing knowing that your vibration is going out into consciousness, into the world whether anyone else sees it or knows it or measures it or gives you a statistic back that, <laughs> that means nothing, <laughs> really. Yeah. I feel like I've opened up a box and there's so much more in there and it's just barely being unpackaged, but it's just a fun um, exploration for me as I reach this milestone of 100 episodes you know, a hundred episodes, I'm like, wow, that's a lot. Yeah. And I just started the summer. (laughs) It's not even that long. (laughs) It's not even that long. And when I get to 500 episodes, what will that feel like? What content will have been created? What vibration will have been sent out into the world by 500 episodes? Who will I be at that time because of the energy that flows through me in this space? What will shift in my life as I continue allowing my vibration to go in wider and wider ripples out into humanity. That's the whole point. It's just showing up and being me and believing in myself and then just letting, letting it fly, letting it go where it goes. <sighs> okay, listen to Submarines by the Lumineers and all other songs by the Lumineers. <laughs> They're so good. They are so good. All right. Enjoy your Tuesday, my friends. I will see you tomorrow for episode 100. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> 100. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you for tuning in to today's vibration. Let's take this message of pure love out into all of our communities and continue expanding love here on Gaia. So much love from my heart to yours.